in part 2 of our motion typography series, we are going to be designing this fun and colorful motion poster. We'll begin on a blank slide and we'll start by designing the overall layout and the look of the typography that we want. So, let's change the color of our background to this nice blue. And then let's start adding in our text and formatting it. I'll start with the first large word. Change the font and its size. And I'll tighten it up a little bit. Let's change the font color to white. And then in our format text options, let's go over to our text effects. Let's first go to 3D format, change the depth to yellow, and let's change it to about 20 points. Let's change our material to matte and the lighting to flat. Then in 3D rotation, let's select our oblique preset, bottom right. As soon as we do that, we see this yellow shadow pop up on our text. Let's pop open our selection pane and make sure we keep renaming everything as we go along. So for the first text box we've created, I'm going to mark this as number 2. Then let's add a little more text. We'll add the next word and we won't do much formatting with this except for the color and the size. Then for our third word, let's grab a box and let's write inside this shape. Once again adjust your font and the size and let's condense the text in our font options through character spacing, just to give it a slightly different look. Let's change the shape fill to this bright pink and let's remove the outline. We can resize the box to whatever type of look we want to create and of course let's continue to rename our layers. Let's continue with word 4. So I'll copy this text box over. This time I'll change the color to this orange yellow. Change the word within it. Make it much smaller and this time instead of condensing it, we'll expand it. Let's adjust the size of our text box and we can center align it. And finally, let's copy the first word that we made and use it as our last word. Let's rename this to 6 and the previous one to 5. And finally, we'll start with the topmost word. So for that, I'll copy the yellow box we made, take it over to the top, change the text. And I'll draw another box just behind it as a little decorative element. So it should look something like this and I'll group them. After that, let's place our text the way we want it to appear. So I'll select everything, I'll align it to center, and then I'll move the text around. You don't have to distribute it vertically, because we have different font sizes and designs. So as long as it looks visually good, the placement should be fine. So once we have our text laid out in the way we want it, it's time to get animating. We'll start our animation with layer 2. Let's go over to our animation pane and give it the fly-in effect. Let's set it to fly-in from top and give the duration for about 2 seconds. Let's open the animation pane. Let's set it to start with previous. Go into effect options. And over here, let's increase the smooth start to about 1.48 and a bounce end to about 1.52. Then, 
at animate text set it to animate by letter and instead of 10 type in 0 0.75 let's see it so it gives this wavy kind of a bounce effect then let's select this go over to animation painter and paint over the same animation to the bottom most word so if we click on play we see both the animations start at the same time but the lower word travels further away and that gives it a slightly faster effect after this let's animate the word and we'll keep this one simple we'll simply add a fly in animation set it to fly in from top set it to start with previous and increase the duration to about 150 so overall it looks like this and of course in effect options let's give this one a smooth end let's maximize that and then let's move on to the next one on the next word which is creativity we'll also add just a simple animation of appear duration to about 0.25 and set with previous for the next word we're going to be adding a group of animations the first thing we'll do is drag the word over the previous one then set it to appear with previous and this time increase the delay to about 0.75 then we go over to add animation and add a motion path let's set the motion path to where we want the word to end again let's set it with previous let's decrease the duration of the motion path to 0.75 and in effect options let's give it a smooth end finally we'll add one more animation to this so we'll go over to add animation again go to spin again set with previous decrease the duration change it to about 0.90 and increase the delay so it starts just after the previous animation then in effect options set it to go counterclockwise and instead of 360 just type 2 and enter let's increase the bounce end as well let's see if that worked so as you see the word comes down and it slightly bounces at an angle at the end then we can just select this, right click on it and send it to back. Let's take a look at what we've created up till now. And it's looking pretty good. Moving on to our final animation to the top group. Again, we'll be adding multiple effects to this. The first thing we'll do with this top group is rotate it by 90 degrees. After that, we'll add a basic zoom animation to it, which can be found under more entrance effects in the moderate section. So click on basic zoom, change it from 0 0.50 to 0 0.20 and set it with previous. But this time, remember to grab this and drag it to the top. So it isn't set with a delayed animation. Once that's done, go to add animation and add the grow shrink animation. Change it to about 175. Go into your effect options. Make sure it's set at 150 and it has a bit of a bounce end. Drag it to after the first animation and set with previous. Once again, let's go to add animation this time let's add the spin to it let's go over to effect options change it to 90 degrees and set it as counterclockwise again add a bit of a bounce end to this drag it up so it's number three in your animation group and set with previous once again the duration will remain at 2 seconds. 
And for one final touch, go back to add animation. Again, select grow shrink. Go over to your effect options. This time change this to 50%. Increase your smooth end. Click on OK. Drag it up. Set with previous. Decrease your duration to 0.75 and increase the delay to 0.75 as well. So now we've got all our animations set the way we want them to be. The final visual should look something like this. Let's check it out in full screen. So there you have it folks. That's how we can design and animate this really creative kinetic typography. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, I'm making this file available for download. Check the link below. However, if you'd like to take the guesswork out of creating all these animations, why not check out our brilliant motion typography template with hundreds of unique animations just for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.